hello everyone today i'm going to be simply teaching you how you can delete your skype account it is a very simple and step-by-step -step guide tutorial so feel free to watch this video till the end and with that being said let's get straight into the video So first of all, I hope you have installed a Skype application on your PC, but I'm pretty sure most of the PCs come default with Skype if you're on Windows. So go ahead and open Skype and go ahead and log in into your account. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, basically I've made a video on that as well. So go ahead and watch my old video and then come back to this video. So once you are logged in, you will be on this page as you can see. And then right beside your Skype account name, there is going to be a triple dot icon which basically says more. Go ahead and click on it and then click on settings. You can also open this settings by just clicking on control comma as you can see. But coming here and clicking it will be easier. So go ahead and click on settings. And then this little tab will pop up as you can see and on your accounts and profile tab scroll all the way down and then down here you can see there is a close your account tab go ahead and click on it once you have done that it's gonna tell you to sign in so go ahead and sign in one more time on your account and once you have entered your email click on next and then finally enter your password and click on sign in once you have done that it will tell you to verify your email just click on it and then microsoft is going to send a code on your gmail account so go to gmail.com on any browser you want and copy the security code that microsoft has sent you and paste it here and click on verify and finally once you have done that um, click on no thanks on these Make sure you read all of these terms and conditions before you delete your account because you want to know what's going to happen. I already know, so I'm just going to scroll down and click on next. And then you can check mark all of these tabs if you want. But this tab, which is I confirm and understand um, the 60 day recoverable period, I will permanently lose to access the sites. Um, this thing you have to tick mark, but all these are optional. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and tick mark all of them. So it's going to be a permanent delete. And as you can see, um, there is going to be, they're going to, Microsoft is going to ask you a reason why you're deleting your account. I'm just going to write, I use a different Microsoft account and I don't need this one. And then once you have done that, click on mark account for closer, which will basically let Microsoft know that there is no one using this account and they can simply delete this account. And finally, once you have done that, congratulations, you have successfully deleted your account. If you thought this video was informational, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and thank you for watching.